Welcome to Transthoracic Echocardiography Online Simulator MyEchocardiography.com Let's assess linear sizes of the left ventricle. Click the button Calculations and select the tab Left Ventricle. In the tab select the name of measurement. From the list select Apical 4 Chamber View. Let's assess systolic long axis of the left ventricle. Freeze the image and find end systolic position. Click the button line and start measurement of long axis of the left ventricle. Start the measurement from the apex. End the measurement at the midpoint of the left mitral annulus. Click the button enter to save the value. Let's assess systolic short axis of the left ventricle. We have to divide long axis in three equal parts and short axis line has to cross third point. Let's assess diastolic short axis of the left ventricle. Freeze the image and find end diastolic position. Perform the same measurements in the diastolic phase. Click the button enter to save the values. Now we will assess systolic and diastolic size of the mitral annulus. Measurement should be performed from the attachment point of the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve to the attachment point of the posterior leaflet of the mitral valve. Click the button enter to save the values. The same measurements we can perform from the apical 2 chamber view and from the parasternal long axis view. But from the parasternal long axis view we can not see the apex and measurement of the long axis of the left ventricle is not possible. From the parasternal long axis view we can measure systolic and diastolic thickness of the interventricular septum as well. We are using parasternal long axis view for the one dimensional measurements. Click the button M mode and place cursor so to cross left ventricle. In one dimensional diagram of the left ventricle we can perform linear measurements. For example thickness of the interventricular septum or short axis of the left ventricle. Echocardiography Online Simulator MyEchocardiography.com